The lion was wrapped around his neck by wire for three years, and you can imagine how torturous and painful it was for him, but unlike human beings, he could not use his arms flexibly, and he could not use some tools. The bondage of wire made his life greatly shackled, until one day after three years, he finally got rid of this shackle. In fact, the lives of animals are always in danger. Due to human factors, such as human desire for a certain part of rare animals or just the mentality of seeking novelty, poachers will kill these animals and lead to death or even extinction. Many such tragedies spread on the internet. Even if they are as fierce as lions, their experiences are sometimes shocking. This story about lions happened in Mikumi National Park. Over the years, poachers have frequented the national park, causing many animals to die or be seriously injured. In 2009, as always, some poachers set traps in the national park in the hope of catching animals. This is an illegal act, and it is this trap that keeps a young lion in a state of extreme pain for three years. Mikumi Park is Tanzania's fourth largest national park, so there are a wide variety of animals, including elephants, buffaloes, zebras, wildebeests, hyenas, leopards and lions, which roam freely in the park in search of food. On a sunny afternoon in 2009, a lion cub set out for food. He often went out with other lions in the park, so although he was young, he knew how to hunt. When it arrived at the field, he crawled in the tall grass waiting for the unsuspecting animals to pass by. The young lion didn't know that this would be its last hunt, at least for the next three years. After 20 minutes, the young lion began to get impatient without finding its prey. Besides, the weather became unbearably hot. As time went by, the fasting lion was going to go home, but just as the lion was about to give up hope, it found an antelope. Lions are the second fastest cats in the world, with a top speed of 50 miles per hour, or 80 kilometers per hour, but this speed is only a short burst, which is very exhausting, which is why lions must approach their prey before attacking. So the lion waited until the antelope was close to him before attacking, but unfortunately it missed the target and the antelope began to run for its life. The young lion was not the kind of hunter who would give up easily, so he began to chase the antelope, and the chase lasted about two minutes until an accident happened. The lion was blinded by the desire to hunt its prey, and did not see the trap set by the poachers, so it crashed directly into it, a strange device with a metal hoop and a bait in the middle, and when the lion put his head into the trap, it immediately slammed shut. The lion tried to break free from the trap, but the trap was merciless, and it would only pull tighter, and as time went by the poor animal still tried to break free, but all to no avail. The sky began to change, like molten brass, and the daylight began to lose, and soon the moon became the only visible light source, and it looked coldly at the poor lion like a haughty god. The lion was still trying to break free from the trap, and at last at dawn the lion managed to break free from it, but the iron ring still hung around its neck and did not move. The young lion was obviously exhausted. He looked so miserable that he could only lie alone on the grass. Sadly, this would be the beginning of a terrible life. After a while, the lion, who had regained some strength, got up to seek his friend, when the trap had plunged deep into his flesh. When the injured lion found the herd, the herd saw that he was badly hurt, and they sympathized with him. Sadly, all they could provide was their love, spiritual support and care. Obviously, none of them could take the iron hoop from his neck. As time went by, the lion's condition worsened, his wounds became infected, and each day the iron ring plunged deeper into the lion's neck, making it difficult for him to run, breathe, or eat, and the poor animal was in a miserable situation. Its wounds continued, and the discomfort caused by the trap made it impossible for it to move freely, so how did it survive, and would he starve to death? Yes, because of the iron ring, the lion could not hunt, and would probably starve to death, but fortunately his family came to save him, and they brought him food every day, and so on for three years. Whenever they go hunting, they always come back with the lion's share of food. They never tire of it. This is probably the friendship between animals. Sometimes, the feelings between them are much deeper than we think. 
Now that food is out of the way, what about the iron ring around the lion's neck? Can it be freed from it? A few months later, the park rangers finally noticed the injured lion, and they started a rescue mission to remove the iron ring from his head. Obviously, their work was not smooth, otherwise it would not have lasted for three years. When they started tracking the lion, the lion kept away from them. The lion, who had experienced being hurt by poachers' traps, was afraid of and wary of human beings. It began to hide in the distant wilderness, so the rangers could not find it. Besides, it had the protection of relatives, who wouldn't let anyone near it. In the end, they can only turn to a wildlife rescue team. The operation to save the animal began, and the team members were divided into several groups, each of which was assigned different tasks. The first group was tasked with catching the lion and sedated it to take off the iron ring, while the other group had to drive away the lion's relatives. All the teams did their best, and within a few days they finally sedated the lion and cut off the iron ring around its neck. This is an easy thing to say, but difficult to do, because if they take longer to save the lion, the trap will make it unable to breathe and die. A team of veterinarians treated the animal, and then they released him. The rescue ended the lion's pain and torture for three years. Since the successful rescue operation, the lion has often visited the site where rescuers removed the iron ring from his neck. Although he is not too close to there, he always stares at the place for a few minutes and then walks away. Rangers think this is a way for the lion to express his gratitude, and he is very grateful to these rescuers for helping him get rid of his torture. A few months later, the lion appeared in people's field of vision again. This time, many things changed, and the lion's muscles increased a lot. The lion is now walking happily in the wild, but the scar on his neck is like a reminder of his painful experience. But will this be the last lion to suffer at the hands of poachers? Perhaps all we can do is curb poaching. Sadly, since the tiger population declined, there is an increasing demand for lion claws and bones. In parts of the Far East, researchers have proved that the lion population is rapidly decreasing. Fortunately, there are some projects that are rapidly becoming active, such as Tanzania's project, other parts of Africa and even the whole world. They are set up to protect national park areas, mainly responsible for combating poaching activities. Hopefully, projects like this will help protect the future of wildlife.